So the big question that we ask is, what is f of x equal to? Well, we know that cosine of alpha is equal to opposite, uh, adjacent, how did I say opposite? Adjacent over hypotenuse. But of course, that means f of x over f. So, let me put that right there. Now what do we do with this? Well, we multiply both sides by f. f over 1, f over 1. These guys cancel out. And what does that leave us with? It leaves us with f times the cosine of alpha is equal to f of x. Ah, so this guy f times the cosine of alpha will give us this guy, f of x. Hmm, isn't that just too simple? Yes, it is. Well, you say, what if I'm looking for f of y? What is that equal to? Well, we know that the sine of alpha is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. And what's the opposite? Well, it's this thing over here, of course. But isn't that the same as this guy? Yes, it is. It's the same same. So, sine of alpha is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. What's the opposite? Well, f of y. What's the hypotenuse? f. Ah, so sine of alpha is equal to f of y over the hypotenuse. Well, let's replace it like that. Now what do we do to get uh, f of y? Well, I multiply both sides by f over 1. f over 1. And what does that do? Well, it cancels out these two guys. And what does that leave me with? It leaves me with f times the sine of alpha is equal to f of y. So, well, let's clean up these guys. And get rid of this. So, what does this... What? What does this guy mean over here? It means that this guy, f, times the sine of alpha is going to give me this guy over here, f of y. So this guy what? This guy, Mr. F, times what? Times the sine of this guy, alpha, is going to give me what? It's going to give me this guy over here, f of y. And that's what this formula is saying. 